I had been in horrible, excruciating pain for four straight months. John Tesh tells all. The pain is real. Yeah. You know, and, and, and people, I will take a pain pill. Uh-uh, man, it's like taking an aspirin when you broke your leg. That stuff doesn't work. And you'll never believe how bad it got. She caught me um, on the floor at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I couldn't breathe, and I was just like, you know. <laughs> John Tesh makes a stunning confession on today's 700 Club. It puts everything in perspective. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. For today's top stories, let's go over to the CBN News Desk. Gordon, while some states are passing new gun control laws, others are going in the opposite direction by passing new measures that give gun owners more rights. Ephraim Graham has this look at how different states are going opposite ways, starting with the new gun control actions in Connecticut and Maryland. They're being called some of the strongest and most comprehensive gun laws in the nation. In Maryland, a bill that would force you to submit fingerprints to buy a handgun and limit magazines to 10 bullets. The State House and Senate just passed the bill, sending it to Democratic Governor Martin O'Malley, who proposed the legislation. Gun control advocates say the fingerprinting requirement will keep guns away from criminals. We're not naive and think that it's going to cut down on all the violence and everything like that, but it's a step in the right direction in terms of trying to combat the straw purchasing and the illegal guns. In Connecticut, Governor Daniel Malloy signed a 139-page gun control bill into law. Lawmakers there are still feeling the loss of the 20 children and six adults killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The tragedy in Newtown demands a powerful response. The bill expands the current state ban on assault weapons. It requires background checks for all firearm sales. It also bans the sale or purchase of magazines that would hold more than 10 rounds. And the bill addresses mental health and school security measures. It certainly will, will um, help us here in Connecticut feel uh, safer and more confident that, um, that, that this won't happen again. Critics argue it does nothing to stop someone like Adam Lanza, who was not a law-abiding citizen and stole the guns he used. Making it more onerous, more cumbersome, more burdensome on law-abiding citizens in our state is not the solution. This year, five states have passed laws strengthening gun restrictions, but the march to expand gun rights hasn't exactly slowed in the wake of the Sandy Hook massacre. Many pro-gun laws are gaining ground. Ten states have passed laws that weaken gun restrictions, including Arkansas, South Dakota, Tennessee, and Kentucky. A recent CBS News poll shows 47% of Americans support stricter gun control laws, down from a peak of 57% just after the Sandy Hook shooting. Ephraim Graham, CBN News. Thanks, Ephraim. Well, a new group is working to help abortion clinic workers get out of the industry. It's called, and then there were none. The group has declared Monday, Exodus 2013, National Leave the Abortion Industry Day. They're offering help and support to those who want to walk away from the business of abortion. Since 2012, more than 45 abortion clinic workers have left the industry through this group. For more on Exodus 2013, I spoke with Abby Johnson, the woman behind the program. Abby is a former Planned Parenthood director. I asked her how she went from that position to being a pro-life advocate. Well, I left Planned Parenthood in October 6, 2009, after <laughs> witnessing a live abortion procedure. Um, an ultrasound was used during the abortion, and I saw a 13-week-old unborn child fight and struggle for his life during that abortion procedure. And I knew then, after seeing the humanity of this tiny child, that I had to leave and, and I had to get out of the abortion industry. Mm. I also asked her how the program is helping to advance the pro-life cause by giving abortion workers a way out. We don't ever want money to be the reason that someone stays inside of the abortion industry. So we're able to provide them financial support and also help get them in contact with people who could help them find employment. We provide emotional support, legal support for them, and also spiritual support. And you can see that entire interview by going to CBNNews.com.
North Korea has once again been named the most hostile place for Christians in the world. That's according to the annual World Watch list from the Open Doors organization. The list ranks the 50 countries where Christian persecution is most severe. North Korea tops the 2013 list. In the country of 20 million, there are about 400,000 Christians. About 25 percent of those are believed to be imprisoned in labor camps because of their faith. Kidnappers are targeting Christians in a southern province in Egypt. More than 150 Christians have been kidnapped for ransom in the province of Minya over the past two years. Church leaders say the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood is partly to blame. That's because criminals are emboldened by preaching the preaching of Islamic clerics who declare Christians second-class citizens. Christians rarely report the kidnappings because they don't believe the police will help them. One priest says local officials don't prosecute Muslims accused of attacking Christian homes and churches, and that encourages more crime. Here at home, economists and investors are hoping that the economy will keep up its slow recovery. One positive sign, housing prices have been improving steadily. A new report says home prices are up over 10 percent in the last year. And despite questions about the health of the job market, some business leaders say it looks like the economy is on the mend. There really is a sense that things are recovering, and, and we feel that too. So, um, you know, despite maybe what some of the numbers say, um, I think there's just a, a better, more positive feeling out there. Many economists also predict the slow but steady recovery will continue through the rest of the year. A new study finds that walking can bring you the same health benefits as running. But you have to walk more in order to get the same benefits. That's because runners use about twice as much energy as walkers. But walking is easier for many people, that's for sure. And either activity can reduce the risk for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and heart disease. Researchers say that physical activity is good no matter what the intensity level. And those are today's top stories from CBN News. Gordon and Terry will be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Coming up. I was a disembodied voice. A record exec who worked with the Jacksons and Luther Vandross. I'd never seen that much money at one time in my entire life. But couldn't keep his own life in tune. I worked all these years to get here and there's something missing. Someone once said, life doesn't give do-overs. But that's not entirely true. What a remarkable comeback for Kurt Warner. I'm Kurt Warner. And I got a second chance that changed my life. I remember those feelings. Yeah, I didn't want to fail. I want to give you an opportunity to chase after your dream. Seriously? Yes. When you know you were meant to do something, you can't let life stand in your way. This is what I've been trying for so many years. I've been given a second chance. The Moment, a new reality series hosted by Kurt Warner, premieres Thursday, April 11th at 10, only on USA. The epic event that touched the hearts of millions is yours to own. The Bible on Blu-ray and DVD today. Hello, I'm Terry Newsom. Did you know there are more than 148 million orphans in the world today? 148 million. But it was three little girls that taught me about the plight of orphans. Eight years ago, my husband and I spent nearly a month immersed in the daily activities of a Ukrainian orphanage as we waited to adopt three sisters. I saw firsthand the utter loneliness, the pain of rejection, and the overwhelming desire to be loved. That experience changed me forever. And out of it grew a ministry from my heart called Orphan's Promise. Today, we're helping orphans and vulnerable children in more than 50 countries worldwide. Thousands of children are now in safe homes. They're being educated and they're learning life skills. I'm asking you to join with me and become family to these children. Will you call the number on your screen right now? Because every child deserves a chance to be happy. Barney Miller was a music producer who blew through money as fast as he made it. He says he was empty inside until one morning when he was alone in his hotel room and he turned on the TV. Bernie Miller's love for radio started when he delivered the newspaper to a radio station in Baltimore. He caught the attention of James Brown at WEBB, who asked Bernie to record a public service announcement. 
Bernie was only 15, and he was hooked. I was a disembodied voice. I loved being behind the microphone and not being seen and, and doing things, uh, saying things in a certain way that would uh, encourage people. By his 20s, Bernie was living out his wildest radio dreams and working for a top three market in Chicago. He was swept up in a whirlwind of success, money, and glamour. My lifestyle uh, when I was uh, in the radio world was uh, fast lane. It's filled with a lot of drugs and, uh, and a lot of uh, groupies. Uh, a lot of money, too, uh, can be made. And what you do with the money is one thing, and what you do with the groupies is another thing. It was uh, you know, calling uh, prostitutes and uh, having uh, people come over and you know, using, abusing drugs. And uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I had to uh, get acclimated to it. And so when that happens, you, you use things to give you a boost. And, uh, and I used cocaine to give me a boost. I used uh, marijuana to relax, you know, so it's such a vicious cycle. Bernie's career skyrocketed. He was offered a job in New York, another top three market. During that time, he began to write music, with credits such as I Can't Stand the Rain, made famous by Ann Peebles and Tina Turner. And I remember the royalty check that I got, it was like uh, $19,000, and uh, I'd never seen that much money at one time in my entire life. And, uh, and I, I used every drop of it on drugs. In 1987, Sony Records offered Bernie a position as VP of A&R. His roster included Michael Jackson, Luther Vandross, and others. His six-figure salary and million-dollar budget was all he thought he ever wanted. But one day, Bernie realized that it wasn't enough. Uh, I woke up after being there for a year, and uh, I said, is this it? I worked all these years to get here, and there's something missing. And uh, there was a void in my life. And the night before, I knew I was watching a, uh, an X-rated movie. I knew that, uh, and I, I don't know if I rolled over on the remote control, I don't know what happened, but I, I woke up uh, that morning and, um, and I turned the TV on, and uh, it was the 700 Club, and there was someone on there saying, there's someone who is uh, struggling right now, and you are, at a point in your life where you have uh, made it, you've done all the things you wanted to do, but there's something that's missing. And uh, I want to tell you that that something missing is, is Jesus. And uh, he purposely put a Christ-shaped vacuum in your life. The next thing I knew, I was on my knees uh, asking the Lord to come into my life and, uh, and to save me. It was a total personality change, so to speak. I found myself uh, not wanting to do the things that I used to do. I asked the Lord to take the, the, the taste of cigarettes and alcohol and any other substances uh, out of my uh, taste buds, and He did. And uh, as I think about that moment, um, things has changed in, in my life. After Bernie gave his life to Christ, he found it difficult to continue his work with the record label. The next year, Sony decided not to renew his contract, and Bernie Miller moved to Chattanooga to become a Christian radio announcer Eventually, Bernie attended seminary and became a full-time pastor. All the gold records and all the famous people that I've known uh, mean nothing to me uh, compared to uh, the relationship that I found by watching the 700 Club. And uh, anyone who's uh, hurting, all you have to do is want Jesus. And uh, when I was at the top of my career, uh, didn't really need anything, uh, but there was a void in my life. You, know, you have a lot of money, very successful, but all those things don't mean anything to you. Uh, at the end of the day, you still have a void in your life, and that void is a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's that same void that I had, and you won't be happy until you do what I did, and that is ask Him to be your Lord and Savior. Maybe you're like Bernie, and you just sort of stumbled across this show, and you're wondering, can, can that be true? You know, is, is really the solution to the emptiness in my life, is that really true? Well, the Bible says, you find it in Ecclesiastes, King, King Solomon wrote it. He said that God has put eternity in our hearts. And you may be trying to fill that up with something else. You may, may be trying to say, okay, I'll... I'll be as successful as I can, or I'll, I'll fill it up with money, or I'll fill it up with 
drugs, fill it up with alcohol, uh, fill it up with relationships, try, try to find some kind of meaning in all of that. And you know, if you've been there, you know there's no meaning. That it's always a continual chase, that you never really find what you're looking for. You never find that satisfaction. You never find peace. You never find rest for your soul. You don't find it. But Jesus is saying to you, and he's doing it right now, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You can find peace for your soul. You can find it in him. Why? Because you were made for it. The reason he put eternity in your heart is so that he could fill it up. And it's when you find the relationship with him that you find what you're looking for. Now, the world will tell you that relationship means that you've got to give up a bunch of things and you can never have fun again. Well, I'm here to assure you it's the greatest adventure you can ever have where you've come to know your creator. You can hear his voice. You can have his guidance in your life. And if you live for him, not live for yourself, but if you live for him, and if you seek his rules, his kingdom first, then all this other stuff gets added unto you. And you find the joy, you find the peace, and life becomes a great adventure. And every day you start waking up, God, what do you want me to do today? Who do, who do you want me to meet today? How, how can I influence somebody for you today? How, how, what, what good things do you have for me to do today? And when you do that, and when you have this relationship, he comes, and it's a daily thing. His mercy is new every morning. You can be a new creation every single day. You can have joy, you can have peace, and you can have life more abundantly. Now, if this is for you, if you want to leave what you're doing now and find him, all you have to do is ask. And here's the promise from Jesus. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, anyone, that's you, anyone, hears my voice and opens the door, I'll come in. So if you're anyone, don't change this channel. Don't, don't spend another day. You already know that it's not going to lead you anywhere. Find him and he'll lead you where you want to go. And he'll give you the desires of your heart if you just let him. So right now, don't turn away. Don't change this channel. But right now, bow your head. Pray a very simple prayer. And let Jesus do all the rest. Pray with me. Jesus. That's right. Say his name. Say it out loud. Jesus. I come to you. And I hear that you can change my life that you can give me purpose, that you can give me peace. So Jesus, right now, I open the door and I ask that you come in and that you make me new again. And Jesus, you know the things that I have done wrong and I ask right now that you forgive me. And for anyone who has hurt me, I forgive them. And I set them free because I want to be free. Jesus, come into my heart. Change my life. Give me peace. Let me find rest for my soul. For I ask it in Jesus' name. Father, for those who just prayed, I ask for a baptism in your love. I ask that they would know that their prayer has been heard and has been answered today. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with love and give them the peace that they long for. Do it, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
The Bible says that if you'll believe in your heart and then confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. What I want you to do is do that and just tell somebody. I made it easy for you. You just have to do it and make a toll-free phone call. 1-800-759-0700 is the number. And call and just tell somebody. I just pray. I just ask Jesus into my heart. When you call, we've got a free packet for you. It's called A New Day, and there's a CD teaching, How to Live the Christian Life, What Do You Do Now? Uh, we encourage you to get a copy of the Bible, start reading it, start with the Gospel of John, and read it every day. It's through His Word that you have a renewing of your mind, a renewing of your spirit. We also encourage you to join a local church, go through water baptism. But it starts with that phone call. It starts with telling somebody right now, I just pray. 1-800-759-0700. Terry, over to you. Still ahead, she was known as the Madam of Mustang, a multi-million dollar brothel outside Vegas. I was all about the money, the power. I figured anyone could be bought. So if I waved a hundred dollar bill, then you would do as I say. See why this madam quit the business. That's coming up. I was a wreck. I looked great on the outside and deep down I was that little tiny little girl that didn't know what real love was. And if somebody called me on it, I would say, well, you know, you drink too. If your father died and he beat your family in front of you and then your mother committed suicide. I started going from church to church, just wanting to pray. But here I was sitting there and heard the message of the gospel and how he died for me and that I'm forgiven. And I wanted it. His loving, forgiving grace is just magnificent. Hello? Is this thing on? Hey kids, do you love games? And do you love discovering things? Well, do ya? Yeah. Then you're gonna love this. It's the new free Superbook Kids Bible app. You can play games, watch videos, find answers to your questions, and a whole lot more. The new Superbook Kids Bible app. Free downloads available on iTunes now. The sun used to make our outdoor deck and patio space so hot and uncomfortable, we couldn't use it. But then we discovered the Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Our Sunsetter Retractable Awning opens and closes in just 60 seconds. It keeps our patio about 20 degrees cooler. It provides instant shade and instant protection from the sun's harmful rays. And our Sunsetter costs under $700. But now you can get your Sunsetter for as little as $499 when you call now to get this special $200 discount certificate and free awning idea kit. We love our Sunsetter retractable awning, and you're going to love yours too. Sunsetter awnings are assembled in America and guaranteed to last for years. So call now to get this free awning idea kit with DVD, plus your $200 Sunsetter discount certificate but this is a limited time offer call now call now for your free awning idea kit with dvd and 200 dollars discount certificate there's no obligation 1-800-201-0421 one little joint supplement you know this powerful little pill is great for your joints it's great for your cartilage it even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility but the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't start relieving joint discomfort fast enough. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of fast-acting Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-906-1967. Great for fast-acting relief of joint discomfort in your knees, hands, and even your hips. Instaflex is available at GNC, Vitamin World, and Rite Aid Pharmacies. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-906-1967. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-906-1967. As the madam to 500 prostitutes, Charnel Sylvie was the Heidi Fleiss of Nevada in the 1990s. For years, she lived an extravagant lifestyle. Then suddenly, it was all stripped away. Charnel was left with nothing. Tucked away on the outskirts of Las Vegas is this multi-million dollar brothel. 
Its first owner, Joe, was instrumental in legalizing prostitution in the 70s. Charnel Sylvie was the madam of the ranch and ran the estate with 500 prostitutes. She was also Joe's mistress and lived extravagantly. Together, they ran the most profitable brothel in Nevada. I was all about the money, the power. I figured anyone could be bought. So if I waved a $100 bill, then you would do as I say. Charnel's journey to this powerful position in the sex industry started as a young girl. Her mother was a blackjack dealer, leaving Charnel and her older brother alone daily. Her brother had parties often, and Charnel was intrigued by the older boys until the day they raped her. I couldn't believe that it happened. I personally felt foul. I felt filthy. I felt shameful. I felt guilty. I felt like I did this. At 16, Charnel decided to run away and hitched a ride with a trucker, not caring where she would end up. Can I come with you? I had no clue what I was getting into. When I went to the truck stop, knocked on the door, got in with him, I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what would be the ultimate result of what I had just chose. What Charnel didn't know was the trucker expected her to sleep with him and his friends. They had this party and they all came into the room and next thing I know, they're taking turns one after another on me. Till this day, it's really just ripped my heart out. <laughs> to think that men, even though I, you know, I could look in my past and know that I looked older and whatever, I was more mature. Uh, but to know that not just one man, but five men couldn't make a decision that this is a young girl. This could be your daughter. Several years later, Charnel met Joe, the brothel owner. When he offered her a position at the brothel, she jumped at the chance. Charnel became the madam of Mustang. Yet behind the money and power, Charnel suppressed a huge amount of shame. I felt a lot of disgust. I hated myself. In 1999, Joe was convicted of tax evasion and fled the country. The IRS closed the ranch and Charnel lost everything. I was at the end of my rope, tired of fighting all my life and everything being so bad all my life. I couldn't see why. I mean, what is the purpose for me to be alive? What is the purpose for me to continue living this, in this world if I constantly have to battle? So what I did was I took a brand new prescription bottle of 100 milligram Elevil. I slipped my wrist and was hoping to call it quits. The suicide attempt put Charnel in a coma for eight days. When she awoke, she had one thought. I was so mad. <laughs> that I had to stay on this planet and continue feeling pain and people hurting me. Doctors sent her home to recover on bed rest. One day, while watching TV, she stumbled on a man telling how he accepted Jesus Christ as his Savior. His story intrigued Charnel. I've tried everything else. Nothing has worked. And there's nothing out there that I want because I don't want to be here because I've tried it all. So I've got to try this one last thing. I've got to try. Charnel asked for forgiveness and invited Jesus Christ into her life. I felt renewed, refreshed, hopeful, free. Everything from my past that was foul, that was painful, that was death, that was humiliating, that was shame, that was guilt. He wiped it all away. He washed it away by that prayer of me asking him into my heart. Charnel found a church home and surrounded herself with Christian friends. Grateful to be delivered from the pain and shame connected with the sex industry, she was inspired to start her own ministry. Charnel now reaches out to others in the industry, sharing her story. 
nothing that they've done is too big for God to handle. Nothing that they've done is so shameful that God won't forgive them. There is nothing that can give me what Christ gave me when I asked him into my heart. You know, a great saint in the body of Christ, Corey Ten Boom, once said, there is no pit so deep that God is not deeper still. So whatever circumstance you find yourself in, maybe you're fed up with the whole journey here too. Maybe you've thought of taking your own life. What's the point of being here, you've asked? What's it all about? You know, God created us with a different plan and purpose in mind than life presents us itself. It was to live in a beautiful garden and to have fellowship with Him every day, to know Him and for Him to know us wholly and completely. We messed that up a long time ago, but He loved us so much that He said, I'm going to make a way to have that fellowship, that relationship with my children, the ones I've created. Sometimes things happen to us that are not of our doing, and they mar our souls. They mar how we see ourselves. You know, Satan is called the deceiver and the father of lies because it's his pleasure to mar the way we see ourselves. It's his pleasure to make us feel like we're worthless. It's his pleasure to put us under a burden of shame and disgust. Sometimes that happens because we make poor choices ourselves. But listen, here's the great news. You get to start over with Jesus. You don't have to earn it. You can't get good enough. You just can't get good enough. That's why he came. He paid the price for me and for you. He didn't do it because we're worthy of it. He did it because he's merciful and gracious and loving. He did it because he wants to restore us to our position of children of his so that we can have the full inheritance of who he is and, and his power and his presence and eternity with him. It's all God's plan for you. So here's the question. He is willing to reach down into the pit that has become your life. Will you reach up and grab his hand? Will you say yes to him today? Will you take the new beginning that he offers you? It's there for the asking. That's not the question. The question is you. What will you do with it? You say, well, what do I have to do? Well, you just say yes. You say yes, and you humble yourself to say, I need you. You humble yourself to say, I'm willing to put aside everything that's of me, that's been done to me, everything that I am, because I want all that you are. When we come to Christ, we give him all that we are. And in return, he gives us all that he is. You want to pray with me right now? You can have it now, this moment. Let's pray together. Jesus, I've known your name. I know a little bit about you. I, I don't know anything about how to do this, but I'm coming to you today in desperate need, filled with shame and disgust over what I've become, filled with bitterness because of what's been done to me, filled with self-hatred and loathing because of what I've done. I need a fresh beginning. I'm taking you at your word today, and I'm asking you to give me that new start. Jesus, will you be my savior? Oh, I know I need you. I know I'm a sinner. I'm confessing all of my sin to you today, every bit of it, every dark corner of my life. I want you to take it all. Wash me clean. Give me a fresh beginning. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me your ways and how to live for you. Be the Lord of my life. I want to follow you all the days of my life. I want to be known as belonging to you. I want to understand what that means, what it means to be forgiven, what it means to be loved and to be able to love freely and wholly, to be healed completely. I want everything you have to give me. And in return, Lord, I give you everything that I am and all that I have. 
thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for loving me so much that you stood by, even in my deepest need, waiting for this moment. I say yes to you. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you've just prayed that prayer, then you've begun the relationship. You've made the commitment. So what do you do now? Well, we've put a free packet together for you. It's called A New Day, and it's filled with information about how to grow in your relationship with God. What, what happens now? This is yours for the asking. The number's even toll-free. It's on your screen right now. It's one 800 759 When you call, just say, I prayed that prayer, and I'd like the free New Day packet. We'll get this out to you right away. Well, there's lots more still to come on today's 700 Club. We'll be back right after this. Coming up later. I had been in horrible, excruciating pain for four straight months. The secret agony of John Tesh. The pain is real. Yeah. You know, and, and, and people, I will take a pain pill. Uh-uh, man, it's like taking an aspirin when you broke your leg. That stuff doesn't work. And you'll never believe how bad it got. She caught me um, on the floor at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I couldn't breathe, and I was just like, you know. <laughs> John Tesh makes a stunning confession. Let my people go. It touched the hearts of millions. Now, own it forever. The Bible, on Blu-ray and DVD today. Someone once said, life doesn't give do-overs. But that's not entirely true. What a remarkable comeback for Kurt Warner. I'm Kurt Warner, and I got a second chance that changed my life. I remember those feelings. Yeah, I didn't want to fail. I want to give you an opportunity to chase after your dream. Seriously, guys? When you know you were meant to do something, you can't let life stand in your way. This is what I've been trying for so many years. I've been given a second chance. The Moment, a new reality series hosted by Kurt Warner, premieres Thursday, April 11th at 10, only on USA. I moved up. I moved up. We've moved up. CBN partners are moving up in order to give more people hope. Partners who increase their existing monthly pledge move up to the next giving level, bringing their compassion to children and adults here and in 36 countries around the world. Thank you, CBN Partners, for all you do, because when you move up, thousands of hurting people move up in life as well. Houston, I moved up. Welcome back to the 700 Club. Nearly one week after the holiday, Easter festivities continue at the White House. President Obama and Vice President Biden are participating in the annual Easter prayer breakfast today. They join Christian leaders from across the country to pray, reflect, and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Operation Blessing continues to help those hurt by the tsunami in Japan in 2011. The community of Fukushima, home of a nuclear power plant, was hit especially hard because of concerns over radiation. Recently, a kindergarten and after-school center asked Operation Blessing to supply food and drinks for the children. OB teams decided to do much more than that. In an official presentation ceremony, Operation Blessing gave the center the snacks they needed, as well as a bus complete with a beautiful new logo designed by a local artist. That really is pretty. Well, you can find out more about Operation Blessing by going to their website at ob.org. Gordon and Terry will be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Jack and I are having the time of our lives. The kids are on their own, and now we're back in control of our time and the way we spend our money. That's why Consumer Cellular is the perfect cell phone company for us. We get great service, and compared to our old plan, we're saving a ton every month. Consumer Cellular is the wireless provider for people who want affordable service without the contracts. Listen, I don't think I'm cheap. I only want to pay for what I need. <laughs> yeah. So what do you pay a month for Consumer Cellular? My bill can be as low as $10, $15 a month. Wow. But we can change our plan anytime. So even those months we use it a lot, we're always getting the best price. Try Consumer Cellular risk-free for 30 days with free activation, a $35 value, and free shipping. Consumer Cellular is the exclusive wireless provider for AARP members. Ask about your special discounts. Call Consumer Cellular at 1-800-730-5103. Go online to ConsumerCellularTV.com or visit a Sears store today. Obamacare. 
more than a trillion in new costs. Hidden taxes, fees, big Medicare cuts, doctor shortages. How can we survive? To know Obamacare is to survive Obamacare. The Obamacare Survival Guide tells you everything you need to know to protect yourself, your family, your business. The Obamacare Survival Guide at bookstores everywhere. Special internet only offer right now at Obamacare911.com. In many Arab countries, people with disabilities often spend their lives as outcasts, with little chance of going to school or finding a job. That might have been the case for a Palestinian girl named Tamara, without help from Operation Blessing. Tamara always walks around on her toes like a little ballerina. She was born with a disability that affects her feet, so when she was one week old, her mother abandoned her. Hiam took her in. I love her. I'm raising her as my own daughter, and I'm doing everything I can to give her a better life. She's my baby. It's that simple. She knows her daughter needs expensive surgery, but Hiam doesn't have a steady job or a regular income. I could do crafts at home, but I don't have the money to get started. In the kitchen, their cupboards are bare. Sometimes I think about how difficult my life is, and I don't want to live anymore. But I go to church, and I pray for my daughter. Her biggest worry is about what will happen to Tamara. Right now, she's too young to know she's different from anyone else. <laughs> Here in the West Bank, Growing up with just a minor disability like this one would mean that in school, other children would tease and make fun of Tamara every single day. And when she got older, it would be hard for her to find work or get married and have a family of her own. But what this precious little girl doesn't realize is that today, Operation Blessing is going to change her life forever. Bye. Operation Blessing paid for surgery to fix Tamara's feet. We also bought him enough food to fill her cabinets and drawers. And we got her set up with everything she needs to make jewelry at home. And since mom got some new work tables and other furniture, we gave Tamara a cozy new bed and blankets that she loved. <laughs> Just a few months after her surgery, Tamara was learning how to walk normally. Soon she'll be running and jumping with the rest of the kids for the first time in her life. Tamara is doing really well. She walks and jumps and dances a lot. As a mother, I'm very excited. No one can understand how happy I am. I thank God for answering our prayers. I also thank God for Operation Blessing and everyone that helped her. God bless you all. And God bless you and thank you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people around the world. We're not just a TV show. We want to reach out to people, we want to help people, and you can be a part of it when you join with us. Now, how much is it to join the 700 Club? It's just $20 a month, that's just 65 cents a day, and you join tens of thousands of people that want to make a difference in the world. If that's you, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700, and when you call, ask for Pledge Express, that's uh, electronic monthly giving, the, the bank does all the work, there's no checks to write. There's nothing to mail in. Uh, your gift is sent in automatically every month. We save so much on the processing, we can send as our gift back to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. And if you want to get a special gift to help people in Israel, we're reaching out, whether it's on the West Bank or in Israel, uh, whether they're Christian or Muslim or Jewish. Uh, or none of the above. We want to help people in Israel, and if that's you, if you want to be a blessing to Israel, you can give to Operation Blessing Israel. You can either write us, CBN Center, just put on the memo line of the check, uh, Operation Blessing Israel, or you can call. Uh, there's also a place on CBN.com where you can designate your gift to Israel. Either way, do it now. 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, up next, John Tesh reveals his biggest secret. When you get taken down like that, it puts everything in perspective. So what knocked him down? You'll find out. Our exclusive interview with John Tesh is next. Plus, we're going to be praying for you and your needs, so stay with us.
While Mary feeds her two young daughters, she also helps feed needy families around the world. While Bob hands a drink out to a co-worker, he helps give water to villages with new wells. And while Carl builds a house for his son's new puppy, he helps rebuild homes in disaster areas. These people all have something in common. They're CBN partners who have joined Pledge Express. I hope you'll consider joining Pledge Express too. It's a way to simplify your own life while speeding help to others, all at the same time. There are no checks to remember or stamps to buy, and your gift goes to work faster, helping those who need it most. So join us and change the world for someone today. I had chased the record deal for years with no results. And then I let it go and I turn it over to him and then there it is. I want people to know that you can't be bad enough for God to not love you or forgive you or to give you a second chance. He doesn't give you the right to judge you, so stop there and learn to love you the way he loves you. And then you can enjoy life more than you've ever enjoyed it before. From CBN. Ooh, someone forgot to lock up. Everyone deserves a second chance. And you're sure it was Sharon? Definitely, Principal Travis. Maybe this time we can help her make another choice. What's up? I can't believe it. Sharon Meyer stole a bike in broad daylight, and Miss Travis just wants to let her slide by. Superbook! Join the Superbook DVD Club and get Superbook's newest episode, Jonah. Plus, two copies to share with others, all for your gift of $25. Nineveh, God wanted me to warn them he was about to pass judgment. I say no. If Nineveh is doomed, then let it be doomed. I thought fish were slimy on the outside. Give the children you love the Word of God as a foundation in their lives. Of Nineveh! It is amazing. Your words have been heard by all of Nineveh. Superbook Jonah, available now. Well, fans of John Tesh know that he suffered from back pain not long ago, but they didn't know how bad it was. No one knew. For months, Tesh struggled through unbearable pain, and as he told Scott Ross, that pain nearly caused him to take his life. His obituary would have read, Celebrity John Tesh commits suicide by drowning off the Jersey Shore. When, when pain takes your faith away, you know, it really can. The only thing that's left is the people who believe in you who can help keep you connected to God. He's always had the Midas touch. John Tesh's career in broadcasting and entertainment has garnered him a host of accolades. Three gold records, two Grammy nominations, six Emmys, and an Associated Press Award for investigative journalism, just to name a few. Everybody remembers John as the popular co-host of Entertainment Tonight. He stunned a lot of viewers by leaping out of broadcasting into his first passion, music. So I'm the poster boy for quit your job, follow your dream. Now he's performing live on stage and speaking over the airwaves from his own radio show, Intelligence for Your Life. When I sat down to catch up with John, we talked about a wide range of topics from social networking to humanitarian relief. So I was shocked when for the first time publicly, John brought up how a back injury took him on a dark journey of excruciating pain and hopelessness. Yeah, I had a, uh, a piece of disc material on my spine came off and landed on my, uh, on my nerve root and paralyzed me. And so I, I, I started a new journey. As the pain got progressively worse, John did his radio show on his back. He tried keeping his suffering in perspective. Nothing compared to what other people have to go through, but the pain is real. Yeah. You know, and, and, and people, I will take a pain pill. Uh-uh, yeah. man, it's like taking an aspirin when you broke your leg. That stuff doesn't work. Right. I was in one of these pain centers where they give the epidurals, and this lady who's been, I later found out, was, had been in pain for 20 years. She looks over at me and she says, 
Oh, you're such a youngster at this. You're gonna get your spine fixed, you'll be out of here, and I'm, and I'm still gonna be in here in, in pain. Consider yourself lucky, consider yourself blessed. And you know what? I'm gonna pray for you right now. Whoa. And I'm thinking, this woman who knows that for the rest of her life, you know, through failed back surgery, she's gonna be living that life in excruciating, excruciating pain, and she still had the energy to pray for me, and I felt pretty horrible at that, at that moment. John says pain became the focus of his life. I was in so much pain. I couldn't take pain pills. They didn't work. Connie says she's just such a, such a trooper, but, but she, I, don't, I don't think she knew how bad it was until she came in and she caught me. I'd, I'd had a, I don't know if anybody had an anxiety attack, but I had never had one before. I didn't know what it was. And so she caught me um, on the floor at about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I couldn't breathe, and I was just like, you know, <clears throat> like that. And and she knew what to do. She grabbed a paper bag, and she had me mm. breathe into the paper bag, and, and, and yeah, I was hyperventilating. Uh, I John says he knew other patients in the pain center were far worse. He had support from his wife, Connie, and Facebook fans offered prayers. Still, the pain screamed louder. And I had been in horrible, excruciating pain for four straight months. And I lost the use of my left leg. I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't play music anymore. John convinced himself the only way to stop the pain was to take his own life. He planned to get drunk and let the ocean take him under. What it was was the doctor said, you can't go in the water because you won't be able to make it out because I'm like crawling to the water because of my leg. And I had downed about a half a bottle of vodka and, and I'm in a wetsuit heading to the ocean in, in the, on the Jersey Shore, gonna go for a swim. But what I was trying to do was kill myself because I just couldn't take the pain anymore. John's suicide attempt ended in the arms of his son, Gibb. He grabbed me and said, he said, you want to go for a swim? And I said, yeah. <laughs> he took me and he held me in the water as the waves washed over me and the tears came down, you know. And I realized that, you know, that was, it had a lot to, you know, to live for. A successful back surgery eventually restored John's health. When you get taken down like that, you, it puts everything in perspective. And you're healed now? I am. I so am, the prayer worked. Uh, prayer worked and everybody was praying for me. What did you, you know? learn in that kind of suffering? I learned that, learned the power of intercessory prayer mm. and I learned that you can never do it alone. And your faith is intact now? More than ever. Yeah. More than ever. I've tried everything and the only thing that works for me is Jesus Christ. I mean, I, 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 I guarantee you at 58 years old, I have tried everything and you know, new age, this, that, whatever, you know. The only thing that works, it works is, uh, is a connection to God. Yeah. He's the source of everything. He's the source of what's all that's created, the source of power that heals us, that moves in our lives, that empowers us. We want to share some other answers to prayer with you. This is David. He lives in Gardendale, Alabama. He developed a hernia in his chest in 2005. The knot actually protruded and could be seen and felt. Whenever he ate spicy foods, he said he would experience a burning sensation. He didn't want to face an operation, so he endured this condition for the next seven years. And then, last January, he was watching this program, and Gordon, you spoke this word of knowledge. You said, in an act of faith, lay your hand on that area of your body that needs healing, and just say out loud, by his stripes, I am healed, and then act it. David did this, and when he looked in the mirror, he said he no longer saw the knot in his chest, nor could he feel it. Since that day, he's not had any problem with it at all. Uh, I've got another one here. Here's Beatrice from Oklahoma. She went to the doctor because she was having terrible pain and crackling in her right ear. He diagnosed her with a severe ear infection and then prescribed medications. After two years, oh, I'm sorry, two months, the medicine was not relieving her symptoms. She was also began to experience loss of hearing in that ear. Then one day she was watching the 700 Club. Terry, you had a word of knowledge. Someone has an ear issue and where you haven't been able to hear out of your right ear. That's opening for you right now, and you're going to hear a crackling sound in your ear as God restores that for you. Well, Beatrice put one hand over her ear, raised her other hand to God, and said, 
By Jesus' stripes I am healed. Her ear became warm, then all the pain and crackling were gone, and she could hear. She's had no more symptoms since that day. I believe that when we do the things the Bible says to do, that we get the same re results the Bible says we'll get. Now, the Bible says, if two or more agree touching anything, these are the words of Jesus, if two or more agree touching anything, it shall be done. And the reason Peter said, by his stripes we were healed, is that it's already happened. The cross is an established fact. So you, in an act of faith, lay your hand on that area that needs healing. And whether you've had pain for two months or seven years or two minutes, let's believe God. Let's believe God. And let's believe that by his stripes, we were healed. It's already accomplished. We just have to receive it. We just have to believe to receive it. Not some hope for, not some kind of pretend, but understand that it's there, that he can be touched with your infirmity, that he's taken it all. And if he's taken it, you don't have to bear it any longer. Let's pray. Lord, as people are laying hands on that area of the body, we just come together with them. And together we say out loud, by his stripes, I am healed. And in Jesus' name, be healed and be set free from mm -hmm. pain and from disease and from cancer and from infirmity. Be restored. Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus came to set the captive free. Jesus came that you might be healed, body, soul, and spirit. So be healed now in the name of Jesus. There's someone with a left shoulder injury and it's causing you numbness uh, down into your fingers and God is just healing and restoring. So begin to move that arm. What you couldn't do before, do it now and receive healing into that shoulder. Terry? This is for multiple people, not one person, but you have been having anxiety attacks so terrifying to you. You're not going to have another one again. And you felt the move of God upon you when Gordon was speaking those scriptures. Just receive the peace of Christ. There are many people with back problems being healed now. Begin to move, begin to twist, begin to bend over and receive healing into your back now in Jesus' name. We always rejoice. If you want someone to just share a testimony with, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. God bless you. We'll see you again next week. Too often, we carry baggage from our past. You know what it's like. It affects everything and everyone in our lives. It's always there, weighing us down and keeping us from achieving true happiness. But do you know God never meant for us to be trapped in the past? You can be free of your baggage. Learn how God's forgiveness leads to changed lives and new beginnings. Call the 700 Club. My whole neck snapped down and back up and just pain shot from the top of my head all the way down through my spine, down my right leg. I mean, just a hot, shooting, burning pain. My neck was so tight that it's like, literally, I could probably move it about that far and that was it. There was a testimony on and I said, you know, Lord, I need to be healed. And as soon as I said that, Pat came on and he said, I want to pray right now. You twisted your neck and you could almost feel something popped out on the side of your neck. Just put your hand over there on it. In the name of Jesus, you'll feel heat and you will be completely And as healed. I turned my neck, I turned it and it just went God just supernaturally brought it perfectly into alignment instantaneously. God has healed me. He's no respecter of persons. God has healing for you as well.